Solar Break Green Greg here, and today I'm going to talk about Panasonic solar and batteries. Closed. What happened? You know, they're such a very well known name and very highly respected in the industry. So I'm going to talk about what happened and, and if you have Panasonic solar panels and batteries or you're thinking about getting them installed, I'll talk about the warranties as well. Let's get into it. And so, by the way, Panasonic is over 100 years old and they make a lot of different electric products. They've been in the solar industry since the mid 1970. So let's go back to 2010. Panasonic decided to buy out Sanyo. Sanyo, by the way, uh, was a Japanese electronics manufacturer and they had a very unique solar technology uh, that Panasonic wanted. And also they had uh, patents and IP around batteries and Panasonic wanted into the solar business. So the Panasonic solar panels called HIT, I'm not going to get a lot of technicals here, but the basic summary is they had a very unique solar technology called heterojunction, and it had several different layers to it uh, that resulted in higher efficiency and higher power production. So for instance, you know, most solar panels, uh, for every degree over 77 degrees, solar panels lose a little bit of efficiency and produce less electricity as the temperatures rise and rise and rise. Panasonic had a very unique technology that allowed their solar panels to produce more electric in hotter temperatures versus the competition, sometimes up to 20% more electric. And that's very important if you're in a state like Florida or Texas where it gets really hot. Panasonic solar panels also were more efficient. Now, by the way, this brochure goes back uh, about nine years, but I'm just trying to show you this for historical purposes. But back then, Panasonic was selling solar panels that had about 21% efficiency versus the competition of 18 to 20%. And so what this meant was, you know, with a Panasonic 330 watt panel uh, versus the competitor's 260 watt panel, uh, with Panasonic, you could fit about 27% more power in the same footprint on the roof. And back nine years ago, this was a big advantage because, you know, when everybody else was selling a 260 watt or 275 watt solar panel, um, there just was a not enough roof space to cover the homeowner's full electric bill. So with Panasonic offering more efficient solar panels, the homeowner had a chance to cover more of the electric bill on the most prime roof space. The other thing was is Panasonic had a very robust warranty. Their warranty was 25 years on the product, which is like the frame, the glass, the junction box, that sort of stuff. The performance warranty on power output was 25 years with the 92% uh, power guarantee by the 25th year versus competitors 80%. And they had a 25 year labor warranty which is very unique. Most other uh, solar companies didn't have this. Tesla and Panasonic also uh, joined together for a solar gigafactory in Buffalo, New York to manufacture solar panels. And most of these solar panels were stamped with Tesla's name on it. Uh, but later on, Panasonic also uh, branded some of the solar panels with their own name as well. But then something happened. Chinese imports of low-cost solar panels put pricing pressure on the whole industry, including Tesla and Panasonic. A lot of companies had to cut their prices, and Panasonic decided to leave the Buffalo Gigafactory. And Tesla decided to use Chinese solar panels, which were lower cost, and helped make them more price competitive. In 2021, Panasonic decided to close their solar cell and module manufacturing business. This was mainly in Malaysia, and they also sold their uh, solar panel um, intellectual property as well. But in 2022, Panasonic introduced the Evervolt brand name for both the solar panels, and they introduced battery storage for home battery backup. And these solar panels were higher wattage and more efficiency. But then something else happened. In March of 2022, interest rates were rising and solar panels are often financed, either through a loan or a lease. And when you have higher interest rates, 
this also raises the solar payment. And so homeowners, when deciding to go solar, are comparing the solar payment versus the utility bill. And in order to make it attractive to homeowners, the solar has to be a lower price versus the utility. And again, and again this puts pricing pressure on the contractors and the solar manufacturers. And so here is a chart from Energy Sage Marketplace. And you'll see here in the first half of 2020, Panasonic had 35% of the solar panel quotes. But as we fast forward here and we get towards 2022, you know, the market share is already down to 16% for the first half. So their market share fell by more than 50% in just two years. And as you can see here, it continued to decline all the way down to 6%. So the market share just kept slipping away from Panasonic. And so as I reflect back, you know, the top three names back in 2010 were Panasonic, LG Solar, and SunPower. And all these companies have something in common. All of them were well-known names. All of them had very robust warranties. And all of them have, you know, very high performance and high efficiency. But now all of them are gone. Um, and by the way, I should mention, by the way, uh, SunPower spun off their solar panel manufacturing business to Maxion, which is still in business. But the SunPower name went away. Uh, but the point being is the marketplace just decided that, you know, performance and the best warranty is not important. To have a good solar panel at a lower price was more important than having a high performance solar panel and a really robust warranty. Just having a good solar panel was good enough. Hey, before we continue, Solar by Green Greg here. Hey, before you forget, please go ahead, hit that thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button. This lets YouTube know that this content is valuable and shares it to more homeowners just like you. Thank you. Let's continue. So now let's talk about Panasonic home battery uh, storage, Evervolt. So Panasonic batteries, this includes EV and home battery backup. So Panasonic has been manufacturing uh, EV batteries with Tesla at the Gigafactory in Nevada, including Tesla vehicles, Mega Pack batteries, and Powerwall models. However, it's my understanding that the Powerwall 3 might have a different supplier. The point is the same battery cells used in EVs can be used for home battery backup, and Panasonic has the tech and the IP. This should have given Panasonic an edge in the home battery backup market. And today, Panasonic is a major player in EV vehicle batteries and is expanding to meet EV battery demand for many major car manufacturers, including Tesla, Subaru, and Lucid, and more. And Panasonic is even opening a new battery factory in Kansas that's opening in 2025. And so here's another chart from Energy Sage about Panasonic home battery backup, Evervolt, battery quotes. And as you can see here in the first half of 2021, Panasonic had 7% of the quotes. But as we go on here, the market share has been deteriorating and going as low as 1%. And the market share just slipped away from Panasonic. I blame a lot of this on a lack of marketing to the solar contractors who weren't properly introduced and trained on the Panasonic Evervolt and also not adequate marketing to homeowners about the advantage of the Panasonic Evervolt batteries. And obviously they have competition from Tesla because they're a very well-known name in the marketplace. And on the other hand, you got other manufacturer unknown names but have a lower price. And Panasonic just could not find their sweet spot. So in conclusion, you know, Panasonic solar panels and batteries for home uh, is closing, um, but Panasonic, the parent company, is still in business doing other products. Um, Panasonic says they will still honor the warranty for solar panels and home battery backup, Evervolt. Um, whether you have the solar panels and batteries already installed or you're getting them installed, Panasonic will honor the warranty. Okay, and by the way, here's the email if you have any questions about the warranty. I will pin this in the comments for your reference. Solar by Green Greg here. And on this channel, we talk about home solar PV and battery. 
solar pool heating, and energy efficiency. And I do it all for sort of clickbait or sales talk. You know, <laughs> listen, I'm a homeowner just like you, and I know how it is. You know, sometimes you're just trying to get information. If that's you, you just want to get information, hey, you're in the right spot. Go ahead, hit that thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button. And by the way, in the comments, hey, let me know where you're from. It's always fun to know where people are from, and how far my voice is reaching to help people with solar and energy efficiency. And by the way, if you're a contractor, hey, feel free to share this link on social media or to customers or to your training team or to your sales team or on your website. I just ask that you share the YouTube link. Thank you so much. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye for now.